Welcome to the third video of PHP series, guys. Uh, in this video, we're going to cover including or including once or whatever you want for things such as uh, layouts they're good for and stuff like that. So, we're going to create a new folder and name it includes. You can name it whatever you wish, or you don't even have to use an includes folder. You can just use it inside the same directory. And what we're going to do is define. And then inside here, you're going to put root, all capitals, comma, and um, two single quotes like that. And we're just going to put a uh, period in a forward slash. And what this is going to do is define a root variable that we're going to be able to use um, in the program so we can easily uh, change the root so um, we can access this file even if we're in a different directory and we can come back to this directory and then go into this and I'll show you that as we go on in this video but we're gonna keep going and first we're gonna go in here and create a new folder we're just gonna name it uh, I mean a new uh, PHP file we're gonna name it header.php yes and we're gonna go ahead and open this up as well and in here I'm just gonna really quickly type out the basic stuff And so really what you'd want to put in the header is stuff like um, your title and the uh, like pulling of uh, things like um, I don't know logo or something and then uh, your style sheet and then uh, I'll show you something really quick so if you're gonna go ahead and do something like this you're gonna want to include underscore once and what this is going to do is just include it once uh, so the file is not going to be used more than once throughout the thing and we're going to do root dot and then have a single quote again and includes which is my folder and then uh, header dot php and now if we go ahead and save this and go to the index dot php you notice that it uh, included the header file inside of that index.php file and did what was inside of it as well and you know you can have more of these for like footers and uh, just so you can split your code up so it's easier to change and one of the best ways of uh, the best things you can use it for is like a menu so if you're gonna change a menu and you want to reorder it or whatever once in a while on your website then you don't have to change every single file on your website you just have to change that one file menu.php or whatever you named it and it's really useful but what I meant by having like a different directory say I had a folder in includes and I wanted to or uh, that's not a good example let me just make a new folder really quick and just name it hi for the purpose of this video Come in here, copy this for another quick thing. We'll name this hi.php as well. And come in here and delete this. And we'll just say echo hello in this one just for the purpose. So, what if I wanted to include that file inside of this um, header file? Well, we could do that like this and do root dot or excuse me include once root dot includes slash uh, or not includes I named it high high dot php and save that again and you come in here and it will say hello as well because you're including the header file and the header file is including um, this hi.php file that we've created and this is useful for you know you can use that in your uh, style sheet you can include from a different folder as well inside of your header using this root because if you were to have a file in this hi.php that needed something inside of um, say the include file but you weren't actually including it inside of the index you're including it by itself 
you could then define another root variable to be something like um, two dots instead of just one and what that is saying is go back a directory and then you can do includes slash whatever and if you wanted to go back two directories you just do another two dots and a forward slash and that's two directories and one directory is obviously just one dot and a forward slash and that's about it in this in the next video i'm probably be covering something on object-oriented php programming so stay tuned Talk to you guys later.